You're watching Hidden History, celebrating Hispanic heritage, sponsored by Hardin Simmons University. And from Mexico to Central and South America and through the Caribbean, we celebrate different cultures and traditions. And while here in the U.S. we're most familiar with Mexican food, Mexican cuisine alone does not define all our Hispanic countries. Amber Frias has a look. United by one language, individual customs, traditions, ethnic dialect, and especially food bring out the unique charm of each country. Like most Latin American menus, Salvadorian dishes are centered around corn. One of the country's most notable dishes is the pupusa, a corn tortilla stuffed with beans, cheese, and pork. Let's explore Cuba. A lot of spices, a lot of garlic, like a combination of African American. America, like Latin America. A Cuban restaurant staple, ropa vieja, stewed beef shredded pulled with vegetables. It is one of Cuba's national dishes. Mexican food, you have the basics, tacos, tortilla chips, and burritos. But it's important to know each region cooks up its own flavors. If you go to the uh, south, uh, say Yucatan, Merida, the achiote for sure. Uh, it's heavy and there's uh, many other heavy spices in, in those states. If you go to the coast, uh, we speak about salt and lemon because the seafood, we do a lot of ceviche. If we could talk to the north, I uh, would say heavy uh, sauce with uh, spice and a lot of meats. Uh, uh -huh. But if we talk to the center of Mexico, which is Mexico City, where I come from, it becomes a very delicate cuisine. Standard Mexican foods tend to deliver some heat, which makes it unique among Hispanic cuisine. You cannot think about Mexican food without spices, without chiles, without salsas. Culinary classics from different cultures vary from country to country, community to community. Enough special flavors to enjoy an extraordinary feast during Hispanic Heritage Month. The music of that mariachi, especially for Mexicans and Mexican-Americans in the U.S., is a cultural emblem that not only occupies central place in community celebrations. It's also a part of the Mexican tradition and identity. Its significance did not go noticed. Norma Gaspar has a look. So many enjoy the familiar sentimental strains of mariachi music made unique with melodies, rhythms, and instruments indigenous to Mexico. Listen in on the already accomplished student musicians at Fremont Middle School. These 7th and 8th graders are getting ready for their Super Bowl, an annual music event in Texas called Mariacha Vargas Extravaganza. My personal goal is to make everybody that I care about proud. Daily practice, an appreciation for their instrument, and pure love of the art drive them forward. It's like one of the best things in my life because this really gave me something to do and I love it and I've never done anything like it and I have so much fun doing it. The stage in San Antonio awaits and these kids seem to revel in the remarkable experience of being a part of something special. I definitely see music careers. They, they, again, they want it, they love it and if they want to keep pursuing it, they, all of them have the talent to do it. At Lawrence Junior High, a full court, well attended, highly competitive dodgeball tournament is in full swing. The purpose of packing the gym on this recent Friday afternoon goes beyond games. So we can help raise money to give to cancer. It's called Dodgeball for Cancer, with all proceeds going to Cancer Train of Las Vegas. They help locals undergoing cancer treatment. The idea for this event, directly from students. And it all started with a student who lost a friend because of cancer and didn't know how to deal with it and wanted to do something about it. With spectators in attendance helping increase their donation, students put on a show. Hot 97.5 DJ and Nitro Circus star and extreme sports pioneer, Las Vegan, Aaron Wheels Fotheringham got the crowd going. Such a positive event, raising money and helping families um, with loved ones who have cancer. I mean, what a, the, like I can't think of a better cause, you know, and um, I'm just really honored to be here and be part of it. And that's what's cool at school. And still to come on Hidden History, getting involved in our community is important. When we come back, we'll show you some easy ways to make sure your voice is heard and you are represented.
Hispanic-owned businesses are skyrocketing in the United States. California, Florida, and Texas are the top three states for Hispanic-owned businesses. The top three cities for Hispanic-owned businesses are in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, New York City, and Los Angeles.